When people speak of the Oklahoma standard of hard work and toughness, much of it can be traced back to our proud farming and ranching heritage, which is why each year the governor gives out an outstanding achievement award in agriculture. And this year's winner's success is only rivaled by his contributions to the state. From conservation to livestock management, John Hughes has done it all during his 63 years in agriculture. He shows the true grit of an Old West cowboy, but with a vision for innovation. John Hughes does a lot of driving in a day. From the edge of the pasture over there where we came out of the old horse trap, all the way down to this, when we cross this next cattle guard, uh, it's, a, it's a half a mile. And this is the first uh, brush spraying that I did. In an area that, thanks to his conservation efforts, is now pasture land. We were faced with uh, being uh, in the cross timber area and the prairies were, were good, uh, solid uh, blue stem, but uh, the post oak blackjack areas, the blue stem was there, but it was suppressed by that overstory. And so the work that uh, we did with Harry Elwell and and some of the early pioneers in brush control uh, really paid off uh, for us. And we were able to make uh, high carrying capacity native grass pastures out of some that were really marginal when we took them over. Land that has been in his family for two generations. My father uh, started the ranch with the purchase of uh, 1,800 acres from the Union National Bank uh, in 1938 and the ranch has definitely grown since then. Uh, there's 12,000 deeded acres in the home ranch. It's taken 17 separate purchases uh, to put together what we own today. The youngest of four children, John grew up on the ranch where he learned the value of hard work, hoeing the garden and milking the cow. Well, it was a hard scrabble existence. My parents uh, believed in, in, uh, in having a a big garden, and when I say big garden, I mean big garden. What, what people today would say was a commercial truck garden, that was the size garden my parents had. They came up the hard way. One of the things my dad used to be the proudest of, I think we'd sit down to Sunday dinner and he'd say, the salt, the pepper, the sugar, and the tea are the only store-bought things on the table. And it was true. And the truth of the matter is, we actually traded uh, butter, eggs, and produce for the salt, pepper, sugar, and the tea. So we really never had a grocery bill. You know, I've been very, very blessed to have happened that, that uh, my folks uh, settled here because if you're going to be in the ranching business, the tall grass prairie area of Kansas and Oklahoma uh, as far as I'm concerned, is about as good as it gets. I've grazed cattle a number of places uh, in a number of states, and uh, I wouldn't trade our area for any place I've ever, ever been. And it was as a youngster that John's love of the ranching life developed. I fell in love with the cattle uh, business, uh, with the people, really. We had a, a, a cowboy uh, that worked for Dad growing up named Bright Drake, he, he was a, a, a real favorite of mine and had a lot of influence over me. And uh, I also have to give credit for spending a summer, uh, 1948, at my uncle's uh, ranch in New Mexico. And it really made me appreciate what we had at home compared to what they had. He loved the life so much that he went to OSU to study agriculture. Animal science. Uh, they called it animal husbandry when I was there. And uh, I'm also so very proud of, of people like Bob Todeshek, who uh, was a big inspiration uh, to me. And it was while at OSU that John met his wife, Lorna. It's been wonderful. And, you know, Lorna and I have accomplished a good many things during our career. You know, we raised a, a lot of calves when we had a cow-calf program. And We've produced a, a lot of beef and we've raised a lot of grass, but by far our number one accomplishment has been our four children. And I'll tell you, I can't say enough about, you know, I had a family that, that stuck with me and my wife and so forth. And I'm very fortunate my kids are, I'm, they truly are, I'm blessed. 
Now, John may have been ranching a while, but he's always looking to take advantage of the latest technology. The uh, advances forward uh, in, in, the, in the ranching industry and specifically the cattle uh, end of it uh, have made such strides, genetics alone. Uh, you know, today it's not uh, uncommon at all to get in excess of 300 pounds in a 100 day period in our area in, in the spring. And with the, the genetics that uh, we had when, uh, when I left uh, Stillwater in 1955, uh, it was uh, pretty darn impossible to get uh, that kind of performance no matter what kind of year you had. Taking advantage of, of new technology, uh, I think has, has been one of the things that's, that's led to, to our success. A success that includes more than just cattle. We bid on our first horse contract in 1988 and got our first uh, horses in October of 89. And uh, since then we've had a, a long, enjoyable relationship with the Bureau of Land Management pasturing unadoptable excess wild horses. Whether it's cattle or horses, taking care of a ranch this size isn't easy. It takes a lot of work, you bet it does. It, uh, no easy uh, route uh, to success in agriculture. But over my career, no question I was discouraged at times, but never to the point of thinking about doing anything else. I think when I realized that by using technology at the time, i.e. herbicide, I could create from what I already owned enough grass to make a living. That was really the turning point of my uh, career. A career that has spanned 63 years, but one he still enjoys doing. I think people that stay active and stay busy, you may think I'm kidding, but I'm not. I, I honestly feel sorry for people that are forced to retire. That's one great thing, uh, even though there's no retirement program out there for farmers and ranchers. They have to provide for themselves, but uh, they don't have to quit either. So uh, I think that's a, a big plus because you can really stay as active as you want to be in the business. And uh, the last few years, there's no question I've slowed down a lot, but uh, I still enjoy what I can do. It's been a great life. I wouldn't trade places with anybody. Mr. Hughes is the 16th Oklahoman to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. For past winners, visit our website at okhorizon.com where we'll have a page with stories on recent winners under this week's Value Added.